Hey, what is up guys? Matt here from the Toasty Bros and I'm here to bring you another PC build guide. This PC is going to cost you roughly $955, which rounded up and not including rebates, is around $1,000 US. This PC will max out anything you really want at 1080p and even stretch its legs into some 1440p as well. So without further ado, let's get right into the build. First up, for the CPU, I chose the Intel Core i5 6600K quad-core processor at a price tag of $220. This processor is perfect for this build, being on the Skylake platform with super fast single-threaded performance. This CPU is even capable of some light video editing as well, making it a very well-rounded chip for this build. Now to cool the CPU, I decided to pick up the Cryorig H7 CPU cooler for $34. This cooler in my mind has pretty much replaced the Hyper 212 EVO as the go-to cooler for light overclocking CPUs. It performs slightly better and has a sleeker appearance than the 212 EVO, but nothing against it, it's still a great option, but overall for this build I believe the Cryorig H7 will be a better option and looks really awesome and will match all the components very well. As for the motherboard, I chose the Asus Z170-A ATX motherboard at a price tag of $148. This is a solid motherboard with a nice white and blue color scheme to it. Asus brings great quality boards to the market with all the connectivity you will need and PCI slots for expansion. This board will do the job for this build. Now onto my choice of RAM. I decided to spend a little bit more than I would have normally on the aesthetics of this RAM, but nonetheless, I got two 8GB DIMMs of Corsair Vengeance LPX 16GB DDR4 memory for $100. RAM prices have been on the rise recently, so really, for 16 gigs of RAM, this isn't that bad of a price compared to the market value, and it looks pretty good and performs very well. If you want to get something cheaper, you can, but for this build, I think this kit will fit nicely. As for storage, I went with my tried and true setup of a 240 gigabyte silicon power S60 SSD as the boot drive and a one terabyte Western Digital Blue drive as my mass storage. This will be perfect for those fast boot times with the SSD and then the ability to store all your games on the one terabyte hard drive. If you do need more storage, you can pay more for a two terabyte drive, but to keep costs low, I opted for just one terabyte, which can be upgraded if you feel the need for more storage. As for the graphics card, I went with the PNY GTX 1060 6GB video card coming in at a price tag of $220. The 1060 is the sweet spot card for 1080p gaming and some light 1440p gaming. The 6GB of VRAM allow for smooth performance and RAM hungry titles like GTA 5 and Battlefield 1. And if you are planning to just play at 1080p, this card will do awesome, but if you want this machine to be primarily for 1440p, I would recommend you save up and step up to a GTX 1070. Nonetheless, this card for 1080p will do awesome for this build. As for the case, I went with the NZXT S340 White Edition. This case is a beauty at a great price tag of only $66. You get NZXT's awesome build quality at a great budget friendly price with plenty of room for this build. Cases are really preference so you can offer pretty much anything that supports a full ATX motherboard and you would be golden, but in my opinion, this case is perfect for the build. Lastly, for the power supply, I chose the EVGA Supernova Nex 750 Watt 80 Plus Bronze Power Supply. Nothing special about this unit, it does have some modularity to be able to manage cables with ease, and at 750 watts, this will be plenty for this build and any future upgrades you throw at it. Overall, this build comes in at a price tag of $952.79. I will include all links to this build plus an upgraded version down below in the description. Please leave a comment on a price range you would like to see me cover in this build series, and if there's anything I can do to improve on these build guides, also leave that in the comment section down below. Hello. Be sure to subscribe and check out all the other content from the Toasty Bros, and I hope you guys have a wonderful day. Peace out.